and we're live. There we are. Hello and welcome everyone. This is our Eve tutorial number two. So today we're going to be learning about how to do the career, so the career agents. And so that's a very important part of the game. But before I do any of that, I just want to alert you guys to the presence of this. Daily starter gifts. Don't just click X on it. Make sure you claim every day when you're seeing these things because it's very important that you get these gifts for example I just got the biology on this account this is a very new account so I'll have nothing on here and here we are middleman Galacticus Gal Galacticus Galactus we only have one skill completed 160,000 is 200 males and Connecting. yeah let's go ahead and jump into this account so as you can see here We've just finished the tutorial, we've literally came back where we left off and we've accepted the military career. So obviously the bonus rewards are no longer available, which is a shame because I should have accepted it when I came back. But it doesn't matter, we're going to get the auto cannon. we're going to do this mission. Right, so last episode my camera was up here, so you couldn't see all of my stuff, like my uh, Neocon menu. And, oh there's a new offer here. 23 hours remaining. This is a good offer, in my opinion. That's just my opinion. Because you get a ready to fly ship, so one month Omega, 100 plex. So it's not like an amazing offer, don't get me wrong, but it's still a good offer. You get, what is it, how much percent? 35% off. That's probably the best percentage wise you're going to get. It's not the best, it's not the best bundle, but it's the best offer. Right, so we're going to claim all these gifts. So I just went down here to click on the un unredeemed gifts. We got a couple of credits and some biology stuff. So then we go into our inventory. I'm going to take some more time to show you these things as well. The Neocon menu is interesting as well. But we go to ship hangar once we click on inventory. That's inventory, not personal assets. These are two different things, and I will explain that later. So we go to item hangar. There's a biology, biology book. You can inject that skill. But now you'll see that we have no skills in queue. Now what we can do is we can train up some stuff and just queue it all up, but we can only queue one at a time, so we need to pick wisely. Are we going to be on for a while? Yes, so uh, I'm going to pick something that's like half an hour, so I'm going to choose, let's see, what does our ship fitting have? I just right clicked on that, clicked show info, and we're going to go to requirements. We have gunnery one, small projectile turret, and gunnery one. So I would suggest to train gunnery up. We could train it to level 5, but maybe it's better to train small projectile turret if we're online. So that way we have something which isn't going to take so long. So 1 hour and 17 minutes. Probably not going to be on for the whole video. Like, probably not going to finish until after the video, I mean. But that's fine, you know? That's fine. I'm just going to check everything's recording fine. Yeah, it is. That's good. Right, so. As you can see here, total net worth is 200,000 is. That's not a lot in this game. You might. Uh, get somewhere faster if you have help from a corporation, from anyone, from a friend who's invited you to the game and like I said last episode make sure you use a referral code I didn't actually put it in the link of the description of the other video but I'll update that and I'll put the one in here as well so you can start playing instantly with a million skill points so now we're gonna undock actually get some stuff done now once you undock it's fair game for everyone if someone really wants to come and attack you which they're probably not going to because you have nothing and they can scan your ship to see what's on there and like I said last episode these greens are in my corporation not my corporation but the, the NPC corporation because I haven't joined a corporation in this account but yeah you see it's a massive game right we're just that little ship and this is just one station and there's a planet I wish there was more interaction with the planets in this game unfortunately there's not much but you know there is planetary industry which you can do which is quite fun drive active. so we're going to warp to location if it doesn't come up you can click on that and it will come up warp to location we're warping there now so it takes a little bit to warp there but it's okay you know like it's not it feels longer when you first do it after a while it gets very very quick you know not literally but figuratively it gets quick right so let's lock on to these targets control click to lock on remember from last episode if you weren't here it's control click 
and then you can press F1 to fire, which I find is a bit far for me, although it's you know very close to your fingers, like, but it's just far for me because I can't be bothered. So I just basically I'm gonna put my phone on charge because that's my camera actually while that's shooting. Um, yeah, you can basically just uh, click on the guns and they'll fire. Right, so is that charging? It's not. Oh yeah, it is now good. Yeah, so this guy will automatically fire, but best thing to do is to orbit at the optimal range that like we talked about last episode, so that would be within a thousand meters. So I'm going to orbit this guy at a thousand meters, so that should do more damage. Because a lot of these shots are missing, if you can see here. Your group of 125 millimeter Gatling Auto Cannon 1 misses the hijacker completely. Gisty hijacker, I think. Yeah, and now it's doing much more damage, as you can see, because we're closer, we're orbiting, so we're not taking too much damage either. And you right click to orbit. Most things in this game is right click. Right click is your go to. I can't lock onto these guys because the tracking on this ship is within 24 kilometers. So we're going to. Pardon me. Orbit that target at 1000 meters by right clicking. We can just. Uh, I think it's. Um, there's a button for it. Uh, no. I remember that last episode, but you'll, you'll see, you'll see. So we're going to orbit this hijacker. I'm going to turn on my afterburner. What this does, if you don't remember from last episode, I'm going to be saying that phrase a lot, so get used to it, please. <laughs> Is uh, It basically makes you go faster. It increases your max velocity. So if you read it, reading is the key to this game, basically. If you don't read, you're not going to get far, and you're going to make a lot of mistakes. Well, you might get very far, but you're going to make a lot of mistakes, either way. So now I can lock onto that target, I'm going to control click. I might actually orbit this target because he's coming closer to me. So that's good. I'm going to lock onto this target because he's close as well. And I am going to start firing even though I'm out of range. Just because it just gets it ready. And we still do damage. Now we're going to orbit the next one. And start firing. So a lot of people say, oh, this game isn't very, you know, in including, it doesn't include a lot of, um, I'm going to get the loot from that. So you right click, you click open cargo, and yeah, you get a nice little bit of loot. Oh, I need to be closer, so let's uh, approach that. So, um, yeah, the people say that this game doesn't include a lot of involved combat. I would disagree, because if you know how to do it, it's very involved. And the more involved you get in the combat, the better results you will get. Right, so we got all that. We're going to dock back at the station now. This is the first mission. We're going to try and do all ten missions during this tutorial. Um, there's a lot of other videos out there which describe these tutorials, but I thought I would just make another one, you know? Because it's good to have a different perspective of a new person. You've got new different types of questions as opposed to just the basic questions. I mean, um, the more advanced questions. I've got the basic questions to offer and answer. So, yeah. Docking permission requested. Docking request accepted. As you can see here, we get the rewards, uh, which is another Gatling gun, which is very good for us, because we don't have one at the moment. Well, we have one, but not a very good one. Um, and then, we've got another one. So what's this? We've got, for you, my friend, there's always something, blah, blah, blah. We don't need to read all that, except from this bit here in red. I suggest you equip a shield booster or armor repairer. Now that is important, because it's saying this mission is going to be hard, basically. So... Yeah, and you should do what it says. So, what we're we doing? We are eliminate the pirates, rescuing the civilian miner, and they have a captive. The civilians will be transferred to your cargo ship once you've destroyed the pirates. So you don't have to worry about opening the cargo and getting it. You just have to actually have it in your inventory, which it will do automatically once you destroy the pirates. Bonus rewards. Now this is important because you will get a ship for this as a normal reward. But bonus rewards is 174,000, and if you look in your wallet by now, you should only have. 170,000 so that's over double your money so of course we're going to accept because we have nothing else to do at this point 
and you see the civilian Gatling gun. What we're going to do is we're going to see what we have. Pretty much the same. No, it is the same. Yeah, so that's the same, but it just gives us another ship. Um, I mean, another gun. What we're going to do is we're going to try and get an armor repair laser. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to market. No, first we're going to simulate it, actually. That would probably be better. I want to teach you about simulating ships. So we go to hardware. And you can see the this is the mid medium slots. These are very important. Well, they're all equally important. But I'm just saying this is important that you know which ones are medium. Medium can hold launchers. High can hold turrets. No, no, sorry. That's absolutely wrong. Launchers on this ship we can have zero out of two. We can have two in total. And and turrets we can have two. So I'm pretty sure they both go in the high slot. I'm going to check now, actually, for you, so I can give you true information instead of false information. So we look at turrets and launchers. We can go to uh, missile launchers. Let's go to random one. Not our free slots. So yeah, they go in the high slots. They both go in the high slots, which is good to know for you. Um, we've got a propulsion thing already. So what I'm going to do is actually I'm going to get a shield or hull repair. Now, for this one, it doesn't really matter. But I do like having the hull repairers because then you don't have to actually spend money on fixing your ship as far as I can tell. You might still have to. I mean, I'm new like you, so it's good that I'm telling you all this as a new person. But bear in mind, I have a limited information. So, I think it's in the low slot. No? Medium, isn't it? Shield recharge, that's here we are. So we're going to need a shield recharger here. What does that do? Shield upgrade 3. Improves the recharge rate of the shield. No, that's not what we want. Bear with me, guys. What is it called again? Oh, I didn't tell you that. It's called... Let's just put a hull repairer. Just in case. Small hull repairer. Let's buy and train. 58,000. Yeah. That's going to be most of your money. Or a lot of your money. And then we're going to train the skill. We're going to apply skill points. 250. Just type in 250, not 2,509. And then you'll have the skill points to use that and it will come online. So yeah, we're going to show info. I'm not going to do the whole fitting thing because that would be a long time and it would just confuse you. So we're going to show that. View market. Well, we could have just done view market details from there. If you click view market details. We're going to see how much it costs. So it costs about 19k. So we're going to right click on that, click buy this and buy one of those. It is a bit expensive for what it is. But it is what it is. Um, it says we only need that for now and we should get more stuff from... Um, where is it? What did I just buy? I swear I just meant... Item hanger. I'm going to buy it again because I, I don't know what I just did, but um, unless I bought it somewhere else, uh, I think, I don't know what I just did, I'm very confused, I'm looking at an afterburner aren't I, yes, but I thought I clicked on this, see this is how confusing this game is, so I mean, it's not confusing. That's the wrong word to use. Intricate, detailed. Um, there we go. Exit simulation. Now we can put that repairer on there. So that's fine. After all that kerfuffle, you undock and you go do the mission. That 
Yeah, I think I bought another auto cannon. That's what I bought, so it must have been already there. That's confusing. Not the game, just I don't know how I did that much of a fail. That was a effing chat for that, guys. Um, so I'm going to warp to location. And you'll see with these missions basically they're pretty easy not easy for you maybe like or me in the, with this sort of situation this little setup you might find yourself nearly dead at some points but they're pretty like you're not well you might find yourself nearly dead you might not it really depends on your understanding of the game at each point in time you're not gonna find yourself dying I don't think in these early missions if you have the right fits so a fitting is this this is my fitting for this ship so yeah for the galactoid we've named it and we're just getting closer to these guys we're gonna engage our afterburner so we can go a lot faster and then we're gonna orbit this target at a thousand meters like usual for these guns that is the correct configuration for this setup well, my my personal configuration, but yeah, that is the configuration I would go for with this ammo and these guns. And the, you can see the ammo we've got is carbonized lead and a gasoline auto cannon. So when you start firing, I haven't even locked onto these targets like a fool I am. So now that we've locked on, we're actually firing much quicker. If we had locked on just before, we would have done that a lot quicker. So we've done that. Gonna get the next guy now. Where's the next guy? Orbit, a thousand meters. We just got some skill points from that, that's nice. Now you'll see I have a million skill points, you'll be like, what? Why don't I have that? You didn't use a referral link, and I will post one in the description, and I will also. Uh, yeah, you also make sure that if you've got your friends playing this game, make sure you choose one of theirs instead of mine because, you know, support your friends. That's always good. Right, we need civilians in our cargo hold. That means there's more we need to kill. Or oh, eject from the capsule, should I say. <sighs> Let's loot all that. Da -da -da -da. Approach orbit 1000 meters. Are you gonna, it is going to be a bit repetitive at the beginning. Because you're going to do the career mission agents and you're going to be like, uh, what do I do, what do I do, you know, but, you know, this is the military career. If you love PvP, you're going to love this, you're going to find it easy. Because if you've played spaceship uh, simulators before, why is it, okay, let's orbit that target. Oh, we already are orbiting this target, I think. No? Orbit. There we go. And he's gone. And now we need to dock back up. We should have something in our inventory. Civilians, yep, yeah, that's good. Docking permission requested. Docking accepted. Why isn't accepting docking my docking? Request accepted. Here we go. Now we start conversation again. It's easy to just do it from the left hand side here. And we get a new ship. Oh, wow! You're ready to conquer the galaxy. You have a slasher. 
You're gonna PvP. You're gonna go into no sec. You're gonna do everything you want. No, no, it's not gonna happen right now. But <laughs> it's a good dream to have. <laughs> yeah, Paul in the background's laughing because uh, he knows he knows exactly the feeling. Now you see the ship, the slasher, right? Let's assemble it. Let's have a look at it. And you'll see. It seems to be. It seems to me that he, yeah, it's a little bit. It's a tiny bit bigger than your old ship. No, that's good. You want usually the bigger the better, but that's not exactly the case in Eve. In Eve, you want a ship that has the right fitting. So the better the fitting for the situation you're in, the more battles you are going to win. So the better the fitting for the situation you're in, the more battles you're going to win. See, that's a very nice nursery rhyme for the kids in Eve. You know, like, you can imagine. That. Better the situation. Na, 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 na. You know, but you know. Anyway, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the stuff off. Actually, can I do that? What's the ship come with? Nothing. I'm going to show you how to do a basic fit now. Now that there's nothing on here, we're going to simulate the ship. Make sure you simulate it first before doing this. I just got some money from bounty missions, that's what that is. Uh, we're going to do high slots first, because we need to put the turrets on. So we're going to do turrets and launchers. We're going to, for this one, it has a bonus to... It has a bonus to small projectile turrets and propulsion jamming. So... We're going to choose... I would say auto cannons. Small. And... Let's just go for the cheapest for now. So we'll put three gasoline auto cannons, and then let's see. I just want to see what propulsion jammers slots are. Jam. Oof. My heart just stopped there for a second. It didn't stop. It just felt weird. <laughs> right. Um. Then we want. So this is a shield ship, it looks like. So let's get some shields on there, some shield boosters. Small. No, nah, I don't want a shield booster. Uh, we could have a shield booster on here, actually. Screw small shield booster one. Now, you'll see that we need the skills, so we're going to buy and train. You might not have the money for this, but it's okay. Because, you know, I'm going to do it this way. Because I'm going to apply the skill points. You should have all the skill points you need with the stuff I'm teaching you. I was going to see something. Will that. Small shield booster. Let's put two of those on there. Because we already learnt it. So, you know, it might as well put two. Since we're not at a point where we can. What's this? Temporary increase in shield resistance. Increase the maximum strength. This is what I wanted earlier shield extenders. Small shield extender. Can we put two on there? Yeah, we could put two shield boosters and two shield extenders. This, don't worry, this isn't like the most expensive, the best fit. So for you, those of you who watch the game and play the game religiously, I know you might say in the comments, this fit is dumb, this fit's not going to work for PvP or PvE. That's fine, this is just a fit I'm showing people, which I am making. So you can comment wherever you like, but just bear that in mind. Uh, I'm not saying this is the best for anything. I'm just saying this is a decent fit, and you might not, you, you might even disagree with that, but that's fine. Oh yeah, I d I'm going to take off one of those shield boosters, or shield extender maybe. Uh, which one has the bigger increases the maximum strength of shield? Yeah, I'm going to take off the shield. Wait. Yeah, so it's increasing it, but not to a point where I want to actually keep two on there. I need propulsion, so what I'm going to do is put an afterburner on there. Uh, I'm also going to put that other shield extender on there. 
because that good shield is actually very, very helpful. For me, at least. Now, uh, let's go for low slots. We can actually put propulsion in low slots, really? Oh, propulsion upgrades, yeah, that makes sense. I'm gonna put... Um, no, I'm not gonna put any armor stuff, because we already have a good shield. I'm actually going to put one of these on. And. One of these on. Now, what those do is this one increases your ship's maneuverability. And this one increases your ship's. Uh, what do you call it? What was it again? Engine power. So I'm pretty sure that means. Yeah, velocity. So how fast your ship is. <clears throat> now we're going to go to rigs. Rigs are arguably one of the more important things, as well as turrets, you know, with turrets you choose. Because the rigs basically depend on the rest of the fit. So the rest of the fit will dictate what rigs you need. So, for example, we've got three Gatling also cannons. So if we went to energy weapons, that wouldn't make any sense, right? I think so. Wait, let me check. It's more projectile damage. Yeah, yeah, that wouldn't make any sense. Yeah, so we'd want projectile weapons. And I'm not even sure. Can we afford this fit? I just want to make sure you can. Yeah, we can so far. Uh, so we're going to put... We're not going to put too much on here. I think we're going to put a projectile... Yeah, let's put this one on. Burst accelerator. And that gives, gives us half of our calibration stun. So we've got, how much is that? 776,000 isk. Whoa, is that just that that's done that? No, so what is costing us so much? Because we, you can't afford that. So we need to keep this in the guidelines of affordability. What is costing us so much? View market details. Take them off for a sec. What is it? Is it the warp? I think it's the ship itself. Let me see. And the Gatling auto cannon cannons, yeah, so let's take the ship off. Yeah, we'll take the ship off later. Um, the ship will cost you three hundred and ninety nine thousand, so three thousand, three hundred, yeah, three hundred and ninety nine thousand. And yeah, these auto cannons are very expensive here, so we're gonna go somewhere else for them. We're gonna save this fit either way. Uh, so I might, how do I, can you go back? No, you can't. That's fine. I'm gonna put that burst accelerator on there. I'm gonna put everything back on there. In fact, yeah, we're gonna use the shield booster. We're going to save this fit for now, and we're going to save it for later. No, we don't, that's not the one we had. Yeah, that was it. And then for the rigs, small shield rig, yeah, definitely. I'm going to put the capacitor safeguard on there. Um, yeah, I'm going to save this fit. So it's 1.1 million. You might be thinking now, that is a lot of money. And it is for someone just starting up. It really is. I'm going to name that Galactus.
Galacticus one. I'm gonna save that. Yeah, so you might be thinking, oh, man, how am I gonna afford this ship? And don't worry, the ship will come later. Yeah, this ship will come later, and we're just gonna stick with the ship we have for now. Because we don't have enough money for that. Now, I may send myself some money and actually show you what that ship looks like and how it works in another video. But yeah, that was just a ship fitting and career agents bit. So let's just see how long we've been in this video for. 30 minutes. So yeah, we have time. We have time. We're good. I want to keep this under an hour, about 47 minutes long. So we have time to do one more mission. And I'm actually going to not do this mission right now. Because we've done the military stuff, I just want to show you how some of the other stuff works. For instance, mining. Now, I'm not actually going to do mining, but for instance, we have a guest here in the Discord. His name is Paul, and he knows a lot about exploration. So I'm going to actually... What? Yeah, you. <laughs> we have a guest. No, he's not a guest. He's part of the corporation. But um, I'm going to accept this... Uh, exploration mission. If I have any questions, I'm just going to direct them to Paul. So yeah, we have... I'm only doing combat exploration, nothing more. I don't no, find this is the career ones. to... Ah, okay, okay. You don't going to have doubts, because it's very, it's very simple. But if you have any doubt, I'm here, so yeah. That's alright. So we need to go to yeah. Republic Military School to add a waypoint. I think that's in this t system, that's why it's not telling us. Wait, hang on. Acquire these goods. I'm gonna undock. Actually, I'm going to undock. I'm going to redock. We're going to end the video here. Um, because, and I say that because, we've done holes and fits, and we've done career agent missions. It's lagging because I'm tabbed out. I just wanted to check something. Uh, I'm actually going to give it five more minutes. Because I want to show you one last thing. Docking permission requested. On the career agents and also accepted. something else on the fittings. So, yeah, I want to keep it conclusive and uh, this tutorial because I don't want to make it too complicated and too much information in one video. So, essentially, and also I just realized, yeah, I didn't even, I took the wrong ship out. So, essentially, with the fits, if you wanted to go back to that fit that you just made, or the one that we just made, you'd have to go to holes and fits, and you go to personal fittings. There's one, and it will turn green and show you there's one there. So it's reading a message. Right, okay. Um, and yeah, we've got the slasher, blah, blah, blah. What's all that? Slasher? Oh, yeah, under here. And we've got the Galacticus one. You just drag and drop that there. You open Multibuy. Now, if you already have the ship, a lot, see, there's a lot of this is confusing at first. These red ones mean that there's not at the system. So you, let's say we wanted to buy it somewhere else. There's no other available station at the system, actually. So we wouldn't be able to buy it anywhere else in the system. But make sure, wherever you are, you click off the ship if you have it. That'll bring the price down to 840,000. Uh, 840, 
Now, bear in mind that this is actually 384 times the normal price. So if we took that off, for example, you're only paying, well, I guess it would be 750,000. So you're paying under a million for this fit. It is a cheap fit in the terms of the game, but for you, probably not at the moment. So uh, yeah, I just wanted to show you that. Million. No, no, one million. Oh, one million, yeah. <laughs> well, less than a million, 750,000 to 800. And then, um, lastly, I just wanted to show you for the career agents if you accept a mission, you do get the bonus rewards. Now, I said this earlier, but you have to complete it within 5 hours and 55 minutes. If you don't do that, you don't get the bonus of 100,000. So, by the time you finish all these missions, you'll have enough to get that ship, even much better ship, even. You have enough to get that ship. So, I would finish the career, military career. Because, for example, you do get. Two times 125 millimeter Gatling auto cannons. Once you finish this mission, for um, what's this? Military career, right? Yeah, for these secret documents, um, and you do get a uh, nearly 300,000 isk. So that's that's you're you're well on your way to outfitting that ship as you wish. But yeah, we're gonna end the video here, guys. So have a lovely, beautiful day. Like and subscribe, please, if you like. Uh, and also, stay safe, stay smart, and please do not try this at home. <laughs> Peace out, guys.